Hey, babies. It's me, Nana. Uh, tonight we're going to do chapter three for Double Fudge by Ginger Moon. So let's see what's happening with Fudge. The minute Jimmy and his father moved out of our building, Henry started painting their apartment and fixing up the old kitchen. Lucky for the new people, he did, because Frank Fargo never cleaned out his refrigerator. He kept everything until it turned green with mold and so smelly you nearly fell over when the door opened. The new people have a kid, Fudge's age. We met in the lobby the afternoon before school started. I'm Alyssa Beth Miller and I'm in Mixed Up Group, she announced. She had kid tattoos plastered up and down her arms. I'm in mixed up group too, Fudge told her. It's not mixed up group, Mom said. It's mixed group. Hmm. Well, what does that mean, I wondered. And how come this is the first I'm hearing about it? That's a relief, Melissa's mother said. We're new here, and when we got Melissa's school assignment, I was very concerned. By then, Tootsie had fallen asleep in her stroller. She was barefooted, and Turtle started licking her toes. I don't know what it is about toes, but all of a sudden, he's an addict. It's like he can't help himself. Baby toes, old people's toes, clean toes, disgusting toes. As soon as he sees a set of toes, he's at it, sniffing, sniffing, nibbling, and licking. I'm hoping he'll forget about toes once it's winter and nobody's walking around in sandals. The second I let go of his leash to fish our mail out of the box, Turtle took off. But the, by the time I looked up, he was across the lobby, sniffing Olivia Osterman's big toe. It was the only one sticking out of her open-toed shoe. Mr. Mrs. Osterman spends a lot of time in the lobby, sitting on the leather sofa, watching people come and go. She's living in our building longer than anyone, more than 60 years. She's close to 90 now. When she was younger, she was a Broadway star. Grandma saw her perform. She still dresses up every day, wearing big hats and lots of jewelry. Everyone in everyone in the building knows her and stops to talk. She hands out little boxes of raisins to the kids as if every day were Halloween. She carries dog biscuits, too, so all of the dogs in the buildings are her friend. The only problem is she doesn't get why I named my dog Turtle. I've explained a million times that I had a tiny pet turtle when my brother was three. He swallowed him. So when I got a dog, I named him after my turtle. It makes perfect sense to everyone but Mrs. Osterman. A turtle is a turtle, she says. A dog is a dog. Would you name your cat a monkey? Or your monkey kangaroo? I never know how to answer that question. I was so busy thinking about Mrs. Osterman, I didn't notice Mom, who was ch chasing half a dozen apples that had tumbled out of our grocery bag. Sometimes mom tells me I'm just like dad that I don't notice what's going on right under my nose. By then, Fudge and Melissa were racing around the lobby laughing and screaming. Fudge, mom called. You know you're not supposed to run in the lobby. Melissa, Mrs. Miller called. Come over here, please. Mom laughed. Welcome to our building, she said to Mrs. Miller. It's not always this chaotic. Right, I thought. Sometimes it's worse. When Fudge came back and heard Mrs. Miller telling mom she worked in the, at the social services program at Roosevelt Hospital, he asked, How much do you make? Excuse me, Mrs. Miller says, if she couldn't possibly have heard what she thought she heard. Fudge, mom said, that's not a polite question. She shook her head at Mrs. Miller. My son isn't usually so rude. Oh, yeah, he is, I thought. I don't get why grown-ups don't like to talk about money, Fudge said to Melissa. Because they're grown-ups, Melissa said, that's why. Mom and Mrs. Miller half laugh the way parents do when they're embarrassed but don't want to admit it. Then they exchange business cards. I'm a dental hygienist, Mom said. We could use a good dentist, Mrs. Miller said, reading Mom's card aloud. Dr. Martha Julie. The dentist with two first names, Fudge sang, hopping around Melissa. You get to watch videos while she's checking your teeth. Which ones, Melissa asked? Whichever ones you want. But she doesn't like it when you laugh hard, so don't bring anything to the funny. Funny is the best, Melissa said. I know, said Fudge. I'll call to set up an appointment, Mrs. Miller told Mother. I'm here there Tuesdays, Fridays, and every other Saturday, Mom said. She picked up our grocery bags. See you soon. As I pulled, pushed Tootsie in her stroller, Mom tried to guide Fudge toward the elevator. But he pulled back. Guess what, he called to Melissa. Pete's best friend lived in your apartment. They didn't have any beds. 
That's because his father thought it was better to sleep on the floor, I said. I don't know why I thought I had to defend Frank Fargo, but I did. I have a bed, Melissa said. Want to see it, she asked. Can I, Mom? Bud said. Some other time, Mom said, we have a lot to do to get ready for school. Melissa walked us to the elevator. See you in mixed up group, she told Fudge. Mixed up group for mixed up kids, Fudge sang, giving her a high five. All through dinner, I wondered if Fudge, Fudge was really going into a class for mixed up kids. Later, while Mom was getting Tootsie ready for bed, I decided to find out. So what's with this mixed up group thing? It's called mixed group, Mom told me. Look, Mom, if he's repeating kindergarten, you can tell me. I won't let the cat out of the bag. Meow, Tootsie said, as Mom changed her diaper. He's not repeating, repeating kindergarten, Mom said. You know he's very smart. But he says his class is for mixed up kids. I can't imagine where he got that. I did, Mom said, looking at Peter. At me. Peter, did you, you didn't suggest. No way, Mom. Because this is an accelerated program. All the children are ready to read and write. They're just not old enough for official first grade. You know how smart Fudge is? You know he's very mature for his age. I laughed. So did Tootsie, even though she didn't have a clue what she was talking about. He is, Peter. Sure, Mom. If you say so. I don't think you have to worry about his self-esteem. He thinks he's the greatest. Not if he's got the idea he's going to a class for mixed up children. What happens if he gets another rat face, I ask. Rat face was his kindergarten teacher last year when we lived in Princeton. When she refused to call him Fudge, he kicked her. In less than an hour, he had to be transferred to another class. I've met the teaching team and they seem very nice. Fudge will be in William's section. This is his third year with mixed group, so he has some experience. Nobody has enough experience for Fudge, I said. Let's try to have a positive attitude, Peter, okay? I am positive. Positive it'll be a disaster, just like it always is with Fudge. And that was chapter three. The next chapter is Richie Riches. So, we'll have to wait and see what happens with Fudge. A mixed up group. Okay, babies, I love you. Talk to you later.